Welcome back to Wrestling with Ski. We're not going over SmackDown. I don't care. Could have been the best SmackDown ever. I don't care. It finally came. I'm going to talk about it. Might not go forever. But you know what? Look, it, it, this is legit giddiness. And it came. Like, I was talking about it. I wanted it to come. And it finally did. At, if the, so, I just think back to it in the fond memories. Like, I can't remember yesterday. A lot of why I stood up. You know, lots of brain damage. But I just think about this. And it makes me smile even more. Because I just think if they did this now. If you've ever seen the movie Ready or Not. Like, you can relate. Like, that's what their heads would do. Like, they're just all over the place. Like, it would be the biggest mess of all time. But it's the greatest thing ever. That's like the wall now. Like, I finally actually started hanging a bunch more stuff up at a friend of mine actual request. Like, that, that's how that's going that way. And those are all the vertical ones. Like, all the horizontal ones are going on the other side. Never I get a frame for something else that's going up there. And then, well. But, like, there's one thing. There's one thing. Like, it just, I don't know why. But right here. Here it is. You can thank Nate again. Check out his thing. He's doing another, like, Check out his page, but that, that man, right there, Snitsky. Gene Snitsky, don't ask me why I put such a big, ridiculous, stupid smile on my face. But OMG. Like it shouldn't, but think, if you guys remember, if they did that angle now. Like, think of that. Like, he was doing dealing with Kane when he had late the... Was doing that thing and you know caused a miscarriage, like caused all those things. And the whole premise of it was it wasn't my fault. I mean, just that in the angle enough is you know, kind of dug here, like forced the marriage, like pregnancy, like all this stuff, like any of this part of this angle would just like make people's heads rupture at this point. Like literally the end of ready or not, that would be half the just, Everyone's heads would just be blowing up, like, everywhere. Legitimately, possibly, nowadays, too. Like, that's not even a joke. People's heads might explode. People might actually spontaneously combust into flames with how just absolutely asinine everyone is. That's one of my favorite words, too, by the way. Asinine. But think about it. If that wasn't enough, the night when he, that picture was taken that he signed, as he rolls the stroller down to the rig... With a baby doll in it. And then takes said baby doll and punts the damn thing into the crowd. Like there's a smile and there's almost a tear coming to my eye just thinking about the obnoxiousness and the ridiculousness of this. And Nate was all, hey, what? I got this one. I'm like, yes, now, give me it. Like right now, right now, right now. I don't even know if I'll ever hang it. I might just hide it somewhere so no one can ever see it. And it's just all mine. The, just because the absurdity and the ridiculousness of the whole damn thing. Like, the whole thing. Like, we all remember Lita and Kane's love thing. It wasn't the... Like, it was just dark and demonic. The whole thing. They got married. It was, like, a whole thing. I remember it was Edger, Matt Hardy. I, like, I don't remember the stupid stuff like that. Like, the whole, like, wedding... Ang marriage angles. Like, wedding angles. Stuff like that. Like, you, you know, something stupid's gonna happen. But, him, like... Causing the miscarriage, yeah. No, that. You know, and if she was really pregnant, she would have been in that situation in the first place. So, yeah, causing the miscarriage, not. And then roll it, like, read, like you read cards, like they, they did it for so long. He rolls the stroller down to the ring and he punts the baby doll into the. Just think about if, he, like, any of, like, if they did the whole demonic, like, you know, marriage angle the way they did it then. Never would happen. The miscarriage thing. Hell no, they wouldn't get anywhere near that because heads would pop. And then making a joke about it wasn't my fault. And punting a baby doll into the crowd. Like, just think if they did that now. Just think about it. Like, it would be a bloodbath. Like, just, just brain matter and just, just, oh my god, the amount of fines and offended, triggered people that are offended by everything anymore. Just think about it like that like this right here like this envelope has got to be like one of the greatest things i've ever gotten in my life like i'm gonna pull it back out 
like you know, I'm gonna pull it back out. There goes the post note with my name on it, so we know. And just look at it. Like think if think they did any of this. Like miscarriage leads to the guy that caused the miscarriage. Air quotes. That rolls the damn stroller down there with fake baby and you know baby doll and punts it. Like so, oh my god. Think of the amount of sponsors in the hell that would break loose from that happening. I mean, I'm probably a terrible person for smiling about it and loving it so much, but just, just that's just an era and something that we'll never, ever get to see again. I'm surprised they even pulled, like, did it and pulled it off then, because it wasn't even like the Attitude Era age was like, gone. this is like ruthless aggression stuff. So, I mean, like, they were getting, you know, rolling down, like, getting away with, like, literally anything. Like, it wasn't as absurd, and then, boom, baby doll gets punted out in whatever row it went to. Like, oh my god, I would love to see it. I'll never get to see anything like that in person, but just think about being in the crowd that night and watching someone the size of Snitsky kicking a damn baby doll up into the whatever row. Upteenth row. Upteenth. Oh, anyway, yeah. I'm not, it's not a real word, so I'm not wrong no matter what. But that would just OMG. And if you've never watched Ready or Not, so you have no idea what I'm talking about, see if it's on Prime or something if you haven't. Find it. Watch it all the way through and then get to the ending. It'll make complete sense because you'll think about them doing this angle now with the way the world is now. And that is the legit representation of what half of these people's heads would do. Like, it would be the most amazing, just ridiculous, off-the-wall, batty thing, like, of all time. Like, I miss that age, even though that was a bit, that was, like, a bit ridiculous, even for me. But, like, how do you forget that if you watch it? Like, if you were alive then, it's been, what, two decades? Had to be. Has to be, like, going on 20 years. You gotta be close now. I'll look it up on my phone now, but it'd be rude. Like, because I forgot the date. Like, I was just, I saw that, and I was like, yes! Finally! Some people find things to be holy grails for some things. I find that's, like, just because I can't remember, like... I mean, I'm not like... Um, anyway, I'm not like Joe Biden in his speech or when he just straight up just stopped in awkward silence because his train of thought went bye-bye during his press conference. But, like, you know, I'm right around there. My brain's... Just, uh, and I remember that vividly. Don't remember the wedding thing. Like, whatever. Weddings are always stupid. I think it was actually Matt. And well, look how that worked out at the end for him. But, oh my god. Like, go back, find it somewhere. I'm sure it's not, on, like, all the limited stuff they have on Peacock already, I guarantee you that's not going to make the list. That's not going to make the cut. It's going to get cut. <laughs> Next. Can't go and have, like, a miscarriage angle where a guy punts a baby doll into the crowd. I mean, that will not be on there at all. The way they're, you know, already going after things, if that's on there... I'd actually be kind of impressed. But, yeah, I don't want to go on forever. I keep talking about the absurdity of it. But, you know, everyone has things to do. It's a weekend. It's Saturday. I'm a little bit late, so I apologize for that. But, man, that's some good stuff right there. But uh, look it up. Snisky punting the baby. Just look at that whole thing. If you've never seen it, it's a, like just people would literally like spontaneously combust nowadays. Um. So look it up. If you haven't seen Ready or Not, look it up look, and watch that too because then you'll understand what I'm talking about with you know, the end of that movie. Like you'll get it. It'll make 100% sense. So enjoy everything. It's going to be a big week coming up because, you know, I like Raw. I don't know. There might be a Hall of Fame night on Tuesday because I know they recorded it. That could be. I don't know. But then there's Wednesday and Thursday TakeOver, Friday WrestleMania edition of SmackDown, two nights of you know, WrestleMania, so we're up to like, you know, just never ending week, so it's gonna be a long one. There's gonna be lots of preview shows, lots of result shows. I'm gonna pretty much be on here so much that you're gonna hate me, but I think I'm gonna have some good surprises to change things up that you people will like. I'm working on it, I'm really trying. I hope it works out. Ah, it would make it so much easier and so much more fun. And it would probably help you people a lot too, but Again, enjoy the rest of your weekend, enjoy the weather, enjoy whatever you can. Be good to each other, watch Ready or Not, end that angle with Snitsky, wherever you can find it, because it's ridiculous in the best way. And until Monday, my friends, peace.